Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have another of these brand new Mattel Jurassic World Dino Trackers Danger Pack figures to take a look at, and this time we have the Dacosaurus. I do want to give again a huge shout out and a thank you to my good friend Matthew who had hooked me up with these figures, you know, found them in his area and immediately contacted me to see if I wanted a set of them, and I absolutely did. I can't thank him enough for always looking out for me because he knows how hard it is to find Jurassic stuff in my area because it's just filled with so many disgusting scalpers it's very hard to find stuff here so luckily for me he reached out to see if i needed these and again here they are to review and not only that he actually sent over a little dinner for this one he says he sent me a little rubber chicken here that uh is meant to be dinner for my dacosaurus so very cool of him to send over a meal as well because it had quite the trip to get here but as you can see again the packaging is pretty much what you usually get for the dino tracker line you can see the habitat and everything back there which looks really cool and then if we take a look here at the back you can see all the other figures that are in this wave some of which we reviewed like the Borealopelta pelta and zoo and but we also now have the dacosaurus to take a look at and we'll of course be reviewing the pyro raptor here soon as well so let's pop this out of the box and check it out so here is our dacosaurus and man is that nice like that is really, really beautiful looking. Like, Mattel always does such a great job on their marine reptiles. I feel like they need to release more. They've given us a pretty healthy dose of them so far, but I honestly can say that I think their marine reptiles are probably some of my favorite figures from anything they've released. And they've released a lot of amazing stuff over the few years that they've had the Jurassic license, but consistently the marine reptiles are some of the best, I think, in the Mattel line. And this Dacosaurus is absolutely no exception. I would say this one might be the star of the show for this newest wave of Danger Packs. It's just that nice looking. So let's jump to a closer look at this and check it out from there. So starting up here at the head sculpt of the Dacosaurus, you can immediately see how cool looking this is. I love this larger kind of gritty looking skin texture we have for it. It almost gives me the feel of like an old school 80s movie monster uh, version of a Dacosaurus. It just has that evil kind of... Uh, you know, rough and rugged kind of a look to it. I really love the way that the head sculpt appears. One thing, though, taking a look at it here close, I will say, though, is the paintwork of the teeth is pretty sloppy. You can see it doesn't look that great. Pretty inconsistent and definitely a little bit sloppier than I've come to know from Mattel. It also looks like the paint might be a little bit thicker than it usually is when it comes to the application, though. You can see, though, that outside of that really cool-looking appearance to the skin texture for the face, we've got the eyes painted with a yellow. It's a little hard to tell if the uh, eye is a black pupil or if it's just that dark brown that we have there around the eye. But you can see that dark brown kind of runs around the eye and also leads up here into the snout. You can see the nostrils right there. And uh, outside of that, you know, the only other coloration we really have up here is the primary body color, which is kind of like a light sort of a tan but you do see again that we have a speckling. I can definitely pick that up, kind of like a dark brown speckling moving through the majority of the face of the Dacosaurus. We also, of course, have an articulated jaw, if we can get it open. Wow, it was really closed right there. We have an articulated jaw. You can see the teeth are kind of interlocking like you see on a lot of marine reptiles from Mattel. We have a nicely sculpted tongue painted with a nice pinkish tone and there's also a nice gloss coat and everything. We don't have that coloration on the inside of the mouth on the upper side though, only down here. And you can see the teeth are really quite kind of sporadic as far as the placement. Definitely looks really cool. And the jaw does, if you just close it like this, you can see it almost has like some sort of an issue where it doesn't want to close. Once you kind of line it up and force it shut, it then closes very nicely. As you move back, you can see we do have neck articulation and the neck can go up really, really quite tall or down, that's about as far down as it goes, but it works very smoothly. We also have a cool striping effect moving down the course of the body here. It starts right there in the head, right in the back of the head, and then leads down here through the course of the body of the Dacosaurus. And then once it reaches actually down here into the body, it kind of like splits up and becomes kind of sporadic and just spotting and stuff, not so much designing like it was. And that striping is painted with a very dark brown, and I think it plays off of the rather lighter tones quite nicely. 
And you can also see the skin texture looks pretty darn good here in the body. A bit different from what we see in the face as far as the scale detail goes. But you can see some like osteoderms and stuff here picking up here and there. You can see they actually begin right here in the back of the head leading down the course of the neck. And then you can see them kind of sporadically picking up here on the body. You can also see that lighter tone tapers off as you move down kind of to a very dark blue. And you can see leading down here into the front limb we've got all kinds of again like larger scaling and almost scoot like scales as you move down we actually have nails for the dacosaurus they kind of have a little bit of a glossy look to them if you look here at the underside of the figure you can again see that we have that lighter tone but that ends very abruptly in the neck as you lead into the underside you can still see though that that speckling is present even once you move into the darker blue areas but on the underside of the limbs and everything the detailing looks pretty nice fairly similar to what we see in the upper side but i think less larger scaling and smaller kind of finer scaling compared to what we see up here but as you move into the stomach, you can see some nice girth in the stomach. Definitely a well-fed version of a Dacosaurus. No alternate coloration for the underside. But you can see as you lead back into the rear limbs again, we have that same style and same sculpt. But they look really good. Really vibrant, really crisp detailing for sure. You have a few more osteoderms here leading back into the tail. And as you lead back into the tail, the skin texture becomes much more fine, but still really beautiful looking. I think they did a fantastic job of actually sculpting out the skin texture in a really nice realistic way through the course of the Dacosaurus. You're not going to see too much difference over here. You really aren't going to see much difference at all. But one thing I will say that I've noticed that I do really quite like is when you move the neck, the stripes line back up. You can see it lines up pretty nicely there. And then as we move up, there they line up. And then as you move up, you can continue to line them up. See, now they line up again. So they did a very good job as far as that. You can even see them lining up here leading down which is really cool. I feel like that was definitely a neat little aspect of the figure. But as a whole, again, I think they did a really good job on this one. And there's the fax app code if you'd like to add it to your collection. But they definitely did a good job, again, on the sculpt and the uh, fine detail of the figure. We do have more articulation outside of the neck. We again have that area. You also have the articulation right here, which can go all the way out or can come back here like it's kind of swimming through the water very nicely doesn't come out away from the body though only forward and back probably the same thing for here yep definitely only forward and back and then again a swivel tail but really cool looking definitely love this figure again another marine reptile knocked straight out of the park by Mattel we also have an articulated jaw which we mentioned before when I just pointed out all the articulation I forgot to mention the articulated jaw, even though I had shown it off earlier in the review. But for a length from the tip of the tail to the snout, a little over 7 inches or 18 centimeters, not a whole lot further. And then for a height, now this of course would depend on you because you can display it completely flat on its stomach. Or you can put it up pretty high with the limbs here, kind of position them to where you can get it to again almost stand on them and you can make it even taller by putting the head up like that but we'll put it here in a nice kind of naturalistic positioning right there i would say so for a height in this position about two inches maybe a little bit over or about five centimeters approaching five and a half but not quite for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and robert muldoon from the mattel jurassic world toy line next to our danger pack dacosaurus and you can see it's pretty much exactly as you expected it size wise because all the danger packs are in a very similar size range so i feel like there wasn't really much of a reason for a comparison because we already knew going into this if you are familiar with the mattel line you'll already know roughly what the size is but for a comparison, I wanted to throw these guys up. And just for another comparison, there is a Mattel Plesiosaur next to the Dacosaurus for a comparison that I felt like would be pretty helpful because we don't have too many marine reptiles in the Danger Pack kind of line. So uh, the Plesiosaur is right there in that similar size range. So I really wanted to show that off to you guys. And then for one final comparison, we have the Elasmosaurus, because why not? It's another marine reptile. It's just way bigger uh, than our Dacosaurus here is, obviously. So this brand new Mattel Jurassic World Dino Trackers Dacosaurus is absolutely awesome. I really, really like this figure. I think that the 
kind of gritty look and feel to this one is really cool. I just think that they did a very good job of sculpting it out in a way where it almost has kind of a creepy look to the face. But yet again, I feel like they knocked this one out of the park. They do such a great job on their marine species, and uh, they have since the beginning. I feel like, honestly, at this point, the least impressive one that they ever released would probably be the Plesiosaur, but even that was really quite nice. But again, this one is absolutely gorgeous. The sculpt is very highly detailed, tons of different style scale detail as you move through the face like if you look at the face compared to the neck and then the neck compared to the limbs and then the limbs compared to the tail like it's different everywhere you look so a lot of variety when it comes to the skin texture on this one there's also some nice looking paintwork throughout you've got some nice variations of color all very nice and naturalistic i would say smooth transitions between colors for the most part and on top of that the uh, again application of the paint looks really realistic and natural as well aside from the teeth the teeth are a bit sloppy not horrible because the figure's so small it's not until you really get close and you notice how sloppy the teeth are that you might pay attention to that aspect but from afar you really don't notice the sloppiness of the teeth there's also also some pretty fun articulation which is always a good thing because in this day and age we love our articulated prehistoric figures so the articulation is really cool definitely works nicely as well not a whole lot but it works good for what it is and pretty much is your standard when it comes to a figure in the danger pack line so as a whole i love this figure i think it's great i think the sculpt the paint the articulation everything about it is absolutely awesome and definitely a recommendation from me so if you are interested in picking one up check your local walmart because they have just begun showing up at different walmarts mostly in texas right now but i'm sure they're going to continue to move through the course of the united states and we'll all have a chance to see them hopefully at some point in our local walmart sometime soon so make sure you grab these if you can find them and also like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching